Hello guys and welcome to another Ollie's on the Ball Tips video. We're up to round 21, so we're getting to the very, very pointy end of the season. Um, last week, 5 out of 9 tips. Not the worst given that the score, the up, there was a lot of upsets and 3 out. Three out of nine Ollie's calls, so not great, but not not too bad. So the first match is Port Adelaide versus Richmond. I mean, Western Bulldogs versus Richmond. Should be a decent game. Um, Western Bulldogs probably go in as favourites. It's their home game, I'm pretty sure, and um, they're higher on the ladder. Both pretty close on the ladder, two points between them. Western Bulldogs, eighth, ten and nine, form, loss, win, loss, for the Richmond, eleventh, nine, one, nine, form, win, win, loss, so pretty similar. Um, I think I'm going to tip the Bulldogs by 21 with my Ollie's call that Aaron Norton kicks two plus goals. Moving on to the next game. West Coast Essendon, 1.45pm, Marvel Stadium, Saturday. Um, Essendon, 13th, 9 and 10, three losses in a row. They really need this win. West Coast, they're 2 and 17, two losses and then a win over North Melbourne. So they, they just want a couple of upsets, as in... They're still 18th, but if they win a game, then they'll probably finish above North Melbourne. It would be amazing given what the um, what it's been like, the season for them. Um, Essendon, I think they're probably favourites, and I'm going to tip Essendon by 52 with my Ollie's call that West Coast lead in the first quarter. Moving on to the next game, Adelaide Gold Coast, 2 10 pm Saturday, Adelaide Oval. Adelaide coming off a win over Port Adelaide, amazing game. Tex Walker kicks seven. Um, he loves the Adelaide Oval. Um, Gold Coast coming off an upset over Brisbane. So both teams coming off upset wins. And both just staying in the hunt for finals. Both 9 and 10. 12, 14 separated on percentage and se also separated by Essendon. I think there's, yeah, there's three. They're the three teams on 9 and 10. All just in the mix for finals still. Whoever wins this is right in the mix. Whoever loses is out. I'm going to tip the Crows by 37. With my Ollie's call that Tex Walker, coming off a couple of good games, kicks two plus goals. Moving on to the next game, which is Collingwood Hawthorne at the MCG for 35pm Saturday. Hawthorne, 16th, 5 and 14. Um... They're coming off a win and then two losses. Collingwood first, 16-3, coming off a loss to Carlton. Um, not great by the teams in their last game, but should be a half-average game. But I'm going to tip Collingwood by 32. They will be strong favourites, so I think they will win. Moving on to my Ollie's call, which is that... Collingwood lead all game. Moving on to the first Saturday night game. Port Adelaide versus Geelong. Port Adelaide, their second, 14 and 5. Going quite nicely, I'd have to say. Um, oh, no, they're not going nicely. I was being sarcastic. They are, they're not going nicely. They've lost three in a row. Carlton, Collingwood and then... Not a great game with against Adelaide, but there's still there's still a chance to be top two, which is what they would want. So um, they need to win this to get a game clear of Brisbane and Melbourne. 
Geelong, 9. 9 1 and 9. Four win loss loss. GMHBA Stadium. I think Port Adelaide will just scrape over the line by 20. With my others called Connor Rosie has 22 plus disposals. Moving on to the next game Battle of the Bridge, Sydney GWS. GWS 7 in a row. GWS are flying. 6, 10, and 8. Um, and then. Sydney, 10th, 9-1 and 9, coming off three wins in a row, so they're not going much worse themselves. This should be an okay game, but I think I'm going to tip GWS by 12 with my oldest call that Toby Green is in the coach's vote. Moving on to the first game on Sunday, Melbourne North Melbourne, Blonston Arena, one ten. I am going to be going to this game. It should be a half average, decent, decent, okay game. Should be all right, but... Melbourne, strong favourites, coming off a good win over Richmond. North Melbourne, um... Very disappointing loss to West Coast, you would have to say. They're 17th, but only on percentage. And they could go down to West Coast, go down below West Coast after this round. But I think Melbourne will, it'll be close, but Melbourne will just get over the line by 17 points with my Ollie's call Nick Larky kicks two plus goals. Moving on to the second Sunday game. Marvel, 3.20 p.m. Sunday. Fifth St Kilda, 11-8. Two wins. A pretty good game against Hawthorne. First quarter and fourth quarter were amazing. Second and third were average. But if they can keep that performance from the first and last quarter up, then I think they... I don't want to be biased, but I think they can be a chance at making finals. Carlton... They're going amazing. Six in a row. Beat Collingwood. Beat Port Adelaide in that time. I can't see the Blues losing. I think the Saints will be smash. Tipping the Blues by 39, but if they kick accurately, 50 plus points. With my eyes called that Charlie Kerno is in the coach's vote. Moving on to the final game. West Coast Fremantle versus Brisbane. Optus 4.40pm Sunday. Fremantle, 15th, 8 and 11 form, lost, lost, win. Amazing win over Geelong down at the Cattery. Not often that teams win there. Fremantle have done it two years in a row now. They need to play there every game there against Geelong. Um, Fremantle beat them twice this year. Wow. Um, Brisbane, third, 13 and 6 form, lost, win, loss. Um, Coming off a disappointing loss, but, like, not out of the blue, well, probably out of the blue. Gold Coast played amazingly. Brisbane didn't stand a chance the way Gold Coast played. I think in this game, Brisbane will win by 41 with my Ollie's call that Lockie Neal has 24-plus disposals. Thanks for watching. Ollie's on the ball. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for listening as well. Um, goodbye. See you.